checking out the cast of Sydney to the Max on the Disney Channel. <laughs> First up is Ruth Riggie, who played the title character, Sydney Reynolds. Well, she has grown up quite a bit. Not a huge change, but noticeable. Also, in the show, she wore her hair straight, and now she's wearing it more wavy. Looks good both ways, in my opinion. Woo! That's my girl! As for new projects, she's voicing title character in animated series Eureka on Disney+. Plus. Ready to roll? If you want to keep up with Ruth, you can find her on TikTok. She has 836,000 followers. Not too shabby. Are you from New York even? Yeah. Are you from New York even? Do you have a big black puffer jacket even? Now, fun fact. You know that Ruth sings and plays guitar, right? But did you know that she can sing in French? Impressive. <laughs> next, next up is Julia Garcia, who played recurring character Emmy Mendoza. This is a big change. She looks like an adult already. Anyway, she looks great. Why did everybody ask me if I'm Latina? Isn't it obvious? Latina mommy. And here she is with her older brother, Jackson. As for work, Julia recently guest starred in an episode of drama series Station 19. And of course, she's on TikTok and has some nice collabs with Ava there. I'm pretty and smart, and I get along with everyone, even ugly girls. <laughs> then comes Jackson Dollinger, who played young Max Reynolds. The change here is pretty big, in my opinion. Of course, he has a different hairstyle now. Looks great with extra curls. I wish I had facial hair. I mean, more facial hair. <laughs> and check out who he spent his holidays with in Cabo. Good for them. As for Jackson's latest project, he guest starred in the TV series Life by Ella with Lily Brooks O'Brien. What's interesting? Lily was also his prom date. I know. <laughs> Cool clip, and you can spot him in a few of Ava's and Julia's TikToks. Let's say he guest starred there. He's real funny. You got pregnant for funny? <laughs> Dina, <laughs> if he's funny, laugh! Next is Ava Kolker, who played Sydney's bestie, Olive Rosalski. She definitely looks more mature these days, but still very cute with these Disney ears. Interestingly, in real life, Ava is two years younger than Ruth. I wouldn't have guessed that watching the show. No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Olive. As for her career since Sydney to the Max, Ava has guest starred in one episode of TV series How I Met Your Father. She's also big on TikTok with 4.2 million followers. So Ruth has some catching up to do. No, you're not cool. How about now, Benson? And you can find her on YouTube. She's posting a lot of YouTube shorts. Now, fun fact, Ava has three sisters. Two older, Kayla and Jade, and one younger, Lexi, who is also an actress. I know what's coming next. We're, We're gonna, gonna go ice cream! 16 oranges! <laughs> wow. I wasn't even close. Next, we have Ian Reed Kessler, who played grown-up Max Reynolds. Ian is quite a private person, so not many new photos of him, but we have a clip. Yeah, he looks the same to me. The clip is from TV series Gordita Chronicles. It's his most recent role, and he was in four episodes. And here he is with his daughter. He and his wife also have a son. Fun fact, Ian played Sensei Tai in a few episodes of the old Disney karate series Kickin' It. That was a good show. I found this under my windshield wiper. What is it? It's the thing that goes back and forth on your car when it's raining. <laughs> Next, we have Christian J. Simon, who played Max's best friend, Leo Webb. So he's the youngest, only four Teen, but looks way older if you ask me. And career-wise, he's doing really well. Since the show, he played Gilbert on Disney Channel original movies Under Wraps and Under Wraps 2. He's also voicing Freddy in short animated series TOTS. Besides that, he has 1.3 million followers on TikTok. I can't go out. <laughs> I'm sick. And he started a new show on his YouTube channel. It's titled Kickin' It with Christian. And his first guest star was Danielle Fischel. One more interesting fact, he's a great dancer. Have I mentioned that he's only 14? You gotta turn up, you gotta turn up. Next up is Caroline Ray, who played Judy Reynolds. She also hasn't changed much. Opposite to Ian, Caroline is very active on Instagram and TikTok. And that's her daughter, Ava. Check out who said hello to Ava. Eva, mommy is cool. Hi, Ava. <laughs> mommy has great contacts. Now, fun fact, Caroline's most iconic role was Aunt Hilda in Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Not the Netflix show, the original version from the 90s with Melissa Jones. Heart. It's Aunt Hilda, Caroline, whatever you want to call me. I just wear this when I want to go to the mall and not be recognized. The whole cast had a reunion lately. Cool. You also might have heard Caroline in the animated hit series Phineas and Ferb, voicing Linda. Next up is Amelia Ray, who played Emmy's best friend Sophia. Rather big change here. She lightened her hair and looks great. And meet her twin brother Mitch. You see the resemblance? I do. Sweet. They went to prom together. As for career moves, Amelia recently starred in the movie Greek Fire, Demon Spirit. Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. I told you to stay. He's grounded. Next up is Cassidy Fralin, who played Max's future wife, Alicia. She looks way older than 16. A very beautiful lady with amazing hair. And here she is dancing with her friend Danielle on Danielle's birthday. Nice. Besides dancing, she can also sing. You'll see to me, I see who you truly are. A girl of whom I can be loved. Is that okay? Yes. I mean, if you have to, you have to. Now check out Brogan Hall. He played recurring character Bucky. He grew up a lot in three years. As for his career, Brogan starred as Trip Swansby in nine episodes of the TV series Diary of a Future President. We wish him even more success in the future. Good luck, Trip. That's all for this video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you for the next one. Bye-bye.